Hello, people. Today we have this knife. Manufactured by Wilson Tactical out of Northwest Arkansas. This is their Model 2. It's got a matte finish, my car to grips, a 5 inch blade, 8 inch steel. This really cool tactical sheath. And they've got a belt loop on here if you want to go inside the waistband or a Blade Tech belt loop. And this is old. So after doing a little bit of research online, I find out this is one of their earliest knives they manufactured back in early 2000 when they first went into business. And here's a second variation on the Model 2 from Wilson Tactical. This one has their logo, their company logo, instead of their name. So that's one of the indicators I found out. Uh, when you see their name, Wilson Tactical, and nothing on this side, that's one of their earliest blades. This one says D2 USA, because of course these blades are made of D2 steel and they're manufactured in Northwest Arkansas. This is also a five inch blade. It's got a semi-polished finish with a polished micarta grip. And it also has a Kydex sheath, but this one does not have the Blade Tech belt loop. I kind of like that Blade Tech better. And here's a third variation on the Model 2 from Wilson Tactical. This one has the Wilson Combat Armor Tough Finish, which is very corrosion resistant. Matt, my car to grips. But this one is a six inch blade. So they only catalog these in a four, a five, and a six inch blade. And eighth inch steel. And then look at that. You got this little uh, lanyard with a little skull on it. Adorable. Here's a fourth variation on the Model 2 from Wilson Tactical. Look at that. That finish is even more high polished than the last one that was polished. These logos are all applied with a chemical etch process. And then look at those grips. Desert Ironwood. D2 steel, made in the USA. This one, however, is made of a quarter inch steel. Or that is heavy, that is substantially heavier. Now they didn't catalog the Model 2 in, in this thickness, but if you called and ordered it this way, you could certainly get them, get them to make it. It's just a, a question of how many they actually made this way. Probably not many. fitted to a really nice cowhide sheath. And yet a fifth variation. Ooh, man. That is a seven inch made of quarter inch D2 steel. This is the heaviest Model 2 they made at the time. This could be possibly the heaviest Model 2 they've ever made. I don't believe they make this model anymore. I, I believe it's discontinued. Man. That is heavy. And that brings us to this sixth variation of the Model 2. 
This is also a 7 inch with 550 cord for grip. Oh, look at that. That skull looks a little bit more expensive. I think that's made of pewter and a hex wrap instead of a square wrap. But this one is made of 8th inch steel. So it's a lot lighter. D2 USA, but this one has what looks like a serial number WCR0007. Huh. That must have been done to match this. Made by Wilson Combat out of Berryville, Arkansas. Serial number on this one is WCR0007. Well, that'll make a nice looking rifle someday. And then I ran into this. Wilson Combat out of Berryville, Arkansas. Serial number on this one is WCB 0007. I ought to put some oil on that one.